Hello, thank you for joining my channel today. More here, and I'm going to do a Champion Guy on Spotlight for you on another rare champion so that you can progress your account efficiently, effectively, and learn things about champions that you may not have known about. If you like doing that, however, don't forget, hit that subscribe button that's going to be down here in the corner. Don't forget to hit the bell notification as well so that you can get content from me as I put it out, and YouTube will let you know when that happens so that you can learn about your champions and that you can progress your account. However, today we have Mother Superior. She's a support style champion. Based on her name, what would you think she does? She's a healer. She likes to heal things. Her kick can be a little confusing at times, even for me, <clears throat> but it's a very helpful little kit. So let's get into it. Let's just dive right into it, right? Her A1 has a 35% chance of placing a 25% decreased attack debuff for two turns. Yes, that is a lower version of the attack down debuff, and 35% is not a very high chance to land it, but she does land it on occasion, and it is only a one hit A1, unfortunately, so she doesn't have very many opportunities to actually land it. However, she can be helpful because the rest of her kit is pretty cool. What's her A2? Her A2 is heals an ally by 30% of this champion's max HP. So her max HP, right? Place a shield buff equal to any surplus heal for two turns if the target is fully healed by this skill. Additionally, look at that. Look at the heal books. Instead of turn reductions, instead of cooldown reductions, instead of chances to land, instead of damage, increased heal. Five, five, 10, and 10. That's an extra 30%. You book her out, that is 60% of her max HP. She heals to an ally. You get to pick which one. It's not a random one. It's not specifically lowest HP to the target ally that you want. And if she he max heals a person, anything additional just gets absorbed as a shield. And it's not a reduction in shield too. It's not like 20% of a surplus heal or 50%. It is purely... 100% surplus heal, turns into shield, boom, done, which is pretty nice. Shields are helpful. Shields are like an increase on your max HP that the enemy has to get through first. To Also, if you have an arena, shields do not allow an enemy to life steal from you because they're not taking life from you, right? So if you're in the arena and you have a champion, an enemy champion that's down just a this little bit left, right? Just a little bit of life left. Hit your champion with the shield, boom! Bust the shield, deals 10 damage to your, your champion. They get three life from their lifesteal set. That's it, and next turn you can kill them. Done, bam, thank you, ma'am. So, ch shields are not to be underrated. Do not sleep on your shields, do not sleep on your champions that can generate a shield, especially recurring shields. They are not, it's like boom, max HP every other turn, right? It's pretty nice. She can do that for you but it's based on her max HP. So when you build her out, you want to build her with as much HP as possible. I don't think mine has a whole lot because I haven't actually taken the time to build her out or book her out as you can see. But I've used her a little bit in some clan boss scenarios and clan boss content, which I'm gonna show you today. Later on in the video, I'm gonna take her into clan boss with another lower level team, it's a normal clan boss, and show you kind of what she can do for her kit for the team to help keep the team moving as well. So don't forget to miss out. Don't miss out on that. Don't forget to uh, stay for the video to watch that um, clan boss as well. So that's her A2, her A3. Places a 7.5% continuous heal. That's the lower continuous heal. There's a 15% as well. But a 7.5% continuous heal on all allies for two turns. Places a shield buff equal to 10% of the target's HP on all allies for two turns if an ally's HP is full. So think about that. So if she can go first, so she speed up, if she can go first, then she will end up being the first one to go. She casts this right away, puts up continuous heal um, buff to help regenerate life as soon as people start losing it. But additionally to that, it puts up a 10% HP shield on top of your team. Handy, helpful. Again, shields are nice, but only if they're 100% HP. If they're at 99% HP, they will not get the shield. So she needs to go first if that's going to be work. And if you want to take advantage of that as well. The idea is to keep them healed. To keep their HP at 
you put the shield on there so hopefully they don't go into their actual eight uh, life and they can put a seven and a half percent continuous heal buff if they do happen to go to it the next turn to come around that's the intent of this skill look she's got an aura as well increases ally speed in all battles by 13 percent all battles by 13 percent speed increase that's like putting a whole speed set on your champion right the speed set does a 12 percent increase this is a 13 percent helpful valuable some of the most valuable legendaries in the game have a speed aura right speed aura in all battles she's a rare that's got a speed aura in all battles so let's look at her stats real quick like i said i haven't really booked mine out build mine up too much her hp is only thirteen thousand. that's where she's going to get her more the majority of her kit the ability of her kit is from hp right her attack for a1 she's only got one skill that does one hit attack for eight for damage right so she's got 13,000, she got 961 attack for her attack, right? Her one hit A1 does scale off of damage, off attack. So you do want some attack if you want her for damage output. I technically got her in lifesteal. I actually just switched it out, but I don't think I probably should have done that. Probably gonna hurt her capability because I forgot she's only got that one hit damage capability on her items, on her skit kit, but that's okay. Let's get into the, dun nope, not the dungeons, into the clan boss. We're going to do a normal run. You can see I've already done a run on normal. Because I actually just did a video earlier today with that team right there. I was checking out Bog Walker, doing a guide on him and a spotlight for you on him. Let's get into this run now. I wanted to mix it up. Who did I want to change out out of this team? Let's see. Let's take out, instead of Bog Walker, let's put in Marquess. All right, let's run this. Mother Superior in the lead for that speed boost. Remember, she's got her ally heal, her shield for the entire team. She goes first. There's a shield for everybody, continuous heal for everybody. Valerie, I love her kit. She's an awesome little support champion. She just did an increased duration of all buffs on my entire team. And then she put a new shield on everybody as well. Look, no one's, oh, we're just now starting to take damage. Even though that was the boss's second turn, right? So, shields are valuable. Don't forget about your shields. Don't sleep on your shields. That is a buff that a lot of people don't seem to talk about. It's a, it's a very helpful skill. It is almost as helpful as a straight heal. Sometimes it can be more helpful. You put a shield on somebody and then, boom, it's like you healed them for that much HP, Right, and then what also on top of that, what it does is it prevents the enemy from life stealing from you if you're using him in the air, in the arena because the, there's not much life steal in any other content in the game other than arena dungeons. You're not going to find it, campaign, you're not going to find it, but that's perfectly okay. Clan boss, you're definitely not going to find it, right? So, but the shield works like a heal, it's like you maximize their HP, you increase their HP. And my team is a support based team right now on this clan boss. This is a lower level clan boss. This is normal difficulty clan boss. And look, you can also see all four of these guys are only level 40. They're only four star. So even on a lower level account, if you're just moving up through the ranks, you're progressing, you're progressing your account, you're not very high up, you can do some damage. Level 40s, four or five of them here, right? They're up at 763 damage right now. Only a minute 30 in, 10 turns into the game right now so far <clears throat> into the round. And they're doing some decent damage. It's a, ma a matter of team synergy on your clan boss, right? Team synergy is key. That is the most important thing. The one of the most important, most valuable debuffs you can put on the clan boss is attack down. I just finally landed one, which has had nice. Otherwise, he's just going to wipe the team out slowly but surely. I've only got one decreased attack. You only have one on there, but it was only lasting for one more turn. Mother Superior's down. She's got a chance to land that attack down debuff, but she's not going to get it. There we have it. 1.07 million damage. Look, I put Marquess in there. Marquess had 123,000 damage by herself. Mother Superior only did 31,000, but that's not why she's there, right? She's there for her heals and her speed aura, right? So look at her healing capability. She did 63,000 healing compared to Valerie's 46. And Apothecary only did 35,000 healing. Now, caveat, remember, Mother Superior does have life still gear on. But it's a one-hit A1, so she really did not heal herself entirely too much from that lifesteal. 
At most, I would guess, venture to say she did about 10,000, maybe 13,000 healing. So take her down to 50,000 heal. She did heal for 50,000 life on the entire team. That is why you would use her. She is a support healing based champion. She's there to keep your team alive. Think about considering using her. Look into her kit if you pulled her. She can get you over some humps. She can get you through some content. She's a healing based champion. Remember that. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Let YouTube tell you when I put out new content. And thank you for joining me in my video today. I'll see you on the next video.